So today we've got a drawing I'll be doing with this here. And I did notice that this here seems to be broken. I think I should get a new one. This one's really old. I've had this for like maybe 10 years, something like that. It's getting quite old. But um, the drawing that I'm going to be doing today is going to be in my big sketchbook. And I have here my Sharpie pen. And I'm just going to draw some lines as usual. Make some kind of lines. And then I don't know what else I'm going to make. But we'll have to see what it, what, how, how it's going to turn out. Um, but yes, let me get my big sketchbook one moment. So this is a sketchbook that I'll be drawing in here. And uh, the Strathmore. I've had this one for maybe 10 years as well. And there's some, I have some older drawings that are in here. Like that one's like 10 years old. It's pretty old. But I wouldn't get started on this big sketchbook. And by the way, when I do get all my sketchbooks done, um, each one that I complete, I'll be doing a review of it. So be on the lookout for that. But let's go ahead, get our Sharpie here. And we've got our green broken thing for making lines but um I th a lot of these shapes i don't even use like these rectangles I'd, I'd, I'd rather just draw them with rectangles for granted hmm. so many things i could use this for for drawing but today i think i might draw with this here we're going to make a bunch of circles, I think, and see what kind of uh, shape we can end up making, but I don't know. We'll see. But let's go ahead and get this Sharpie, get my big sketchbook, and start on this doodle. Hello, and welcome, everybody, to another drawing here with a Sharpie making a lot of circles. At the moment, I'm currently making myself some food. It's ground turkey with some rice. And I'm going to add some seasonings to it, so it's kind of not that much of a interesting meal. But I, I did get asked by a couple of people where they can buy some of my artwork. Now I do still have to upload some of my drawings and scan them. Although I have scanned most of them, I still have more to scan and upload to the different sites to where you can buy prints. And if you want to buy some of these products, I have links in all of my videos where you can find them. So go ahead and check those out. But in other news, it is warmer out. It did rain a lot today. And it, it was a bit warmer though. It wasn't really cold. And I'm really looking forward to summer. I feel so much better in the summer. I get way more done. I generally just feel more motivated to make some more drawings. And I'll be taking my DSLR with me and my phone and my camcorder to record things and make some recordings of some of the animals and some of the bees and the flowers and all that while I just talk about life or maybe something else. But I was also thinking about how there's positivity and then there's negativity. And you want to find a balance between the two. You don't want to be too negative, but you don't want to be too positive. Because if you're too positive, you might rush into things and make a mistake. Or somebody might say something that in the long run they're just talking to you for their own benefit. But if you're too negative and you see everything in a negative way, then it's going to make things in life not as is enjoyable you're going to find that you're not as happy you just look for the negativity and everything so you got to find the balance between the two and I think at this point I'm kind of just rambling and just talking about whatever is on my mind at the moment right now at this moment I'm thinking to myself I'm extremely hungry and you know when you're really hungry and you're making the food and it's going to be a while till it's done but you don't have anything else to snack on during that time so you just sat there and you're hungry and then 
you're just so excited to eat. And then when I finally do eat, I'll eat about three or four plates of food. And then I'm hungry again, like an hour and a half later. They, they say it's a fast metabolism, but I've always been that way. Even, even if I don't um, do any exercise, I'm still always hungry. But if I do start working out a whole bunch, I'm extremely hungry, constantly. I did recently take a short break from working out. I was having some kind of really strange spinal pain. I don't know what was going on. And I did end up going to the chiropractor for it. But it seems to be going away. And it, my back hasn't been hurting me for the past three days. But I still wanted to give an extra week rest and get back into working out lightly and then move back into it. And the odd thing is that all of my injuries I've ever had, they've always happened outside of working out. They never happened during working out, except for one time, which was due to a pre-existing injury that I had before. But it's weird how that works out. I mean, I'm still young. I'm 29 now. I'm going to be turning 30 this year. Hmm. I wonder what it's going to be like turning 30. Because my 20s are gone. I think at that point, is, is 30 mid, middle age? I know 40 is middle age, but I think 30 is kind of like in between middle age and young. I mean, I'm still young, but I'm not young like I am in my 20s. Hmm. And I would say that I do notice that I do not recover as fast from working out. Like when I was 19, I could work out for hours, many hours. And I do that almost every day. And by the next day, I was almost completely recovered. Now, if I work out for an hour, I'm extremely sore for like four days. So there's that, but... I think my food is like maybe a quarter of the way done. I still have to wait for the rice to finish cooking and the meat and add some seasonings. But this is my drawing with the Sharpie marker. And if you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Any suggestions about something you'd like me to draw. And don't forget to check out links to buy any of the products or anything else. Thank you for watching. Share with your friends. Give this a like. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya.